Assalamu alaikum and a warm good morning to one and all. How are you children? Hope everyone is fine. Welcome to our new section of class 4 mathematics. Today we are going to learn unit 3 multiplication. Here are the learning outcomes or the subtopics that you are going to learn. First, to recall the concept of multiplication and properties of multiplication. To learn multiplying four digit numbers. To learn multiplying by tens and hundreds. To learn multiplying by a two digit number and a three digit number. To learn to solve word problems. Before we are starting our lesson, we will just go through what we have learned in our previous class. Multiplication is one of the four basic operations in elementary arithmetic, the others being addition, subtraction and division. Multiplication is denoted by the cross symbol X. The symbol X means time. Do you know what is multiplication is all about? Multiplication is a quick way of adding the same number over and over again. So we say multiplication is the repeated addition of same numbers. Let us take an example to see how multiplication can be shown as repeated addition. Here there are 4 glasses and in each glass 3 marbles are there. To know how many marbles are there in all, what we usually do? We add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12 marbles in all. That is, 4 groups of 3 marbles each is 12. Instead of adding 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, we can simply multiply 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, from this example, we learn when each group has the same number, we use multiplication to find out how many are there in all. Understanding multiplication. The numbers in the multiplication problem have special names. The numbers that we are multiplying are called factors and the answer is called the product. Here in this multiplication sentence, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 4 and 3 are called the factors of 12. And 12 is called the product of 4 and 3. So what are factors? The number that have been multiplied are called factors. The answer in multiplication is called the product. Now let us recall properties of multiplication. First property, we can multiply in any order and still get the same product. Example, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 4 times 6 is also equal to 24. So we say 6 times 4 is equal to 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Second property. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. Example, 8 times 1 is equal to 8. 100 times 1 is equal to 100. Third property. Any number multiplied by 0 is always 0. Example, 5 times 0 is equal to 0. 20 times 0 is equal to 0. Now children, do this filling the blanks in your notebook. Now let us learn how to multiply a 4 digit number by a 1 digit number. One thing I want to mention before we start is that multiplication problems becomes much easier for you if you have memorized basic multiplication facts that is the multiplication tables very well. So keep learning the tables. Ok let us start now. First multiplication without regrouping. Example, let's multiply 2143 times 2. 
Since the top number has four digits, we will have four small steps of multiplication. Remember, we always start from the ones place. Step 1. Multiply the ones. 2 times 3 ones is equal to 6 ones. Write 6 below the ones place. Step 2. Multiply the tens. 2 times 4 tens is equal to 8 tens. Write 8 below the tens place. Step 3. Multiply the hundreds. 2 times 100 is equal to 200. Write 2 below the hundreds place. Step 4. Multiply the thousands. 2 times 2 thousands is equal to 4 thousands. Write 4 below the thousands place. Here now the answer is 4286. Next, multiplication with regrouping. Example, let's multiply 3418 times 3. Remember, we always start from the ones place. Step 1, multiply the ones and regroup. 3 times 8 ones is equal to 24 ones. Write 4 below the ones place, carry over to 10. Step 2, multiply the tens. 3 times 1 ten is equal to 3 tens. Add carry over 2 tens. That will be equal to 5 tens. Write 5 below the tens place. So there is no carry over. Multiply the hundreds and regroup. 3 times 4 hundreds is equal to 12 hundreds. Write 2 below the hundreds place and carry over 1000. Step 4. Multiply the thousands. 3 times 3000 is equal to 9000. Add 1, carry over 1000 so that it will be equal to 10,000. Write 10 below the thousands place. So the answer is 10,254. I hope now you have understood how to multiply a 4 digit number by a 1 digit number. Solve these sums and also practice exercise 3C page number 51 in your notebook as assignment. Thank you.